Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for taking your time to watch my videos. Many of us have watched all the uh, sci-fi movies about future robots and androids and war and medbeds and things like that. Another scary thing that is happening currently going on there in China, they took a bold step toward integrating humanoid robots into everyday public life. Shenzhen-based Uptech Robotic secured a landmark $264 million uh, yuan, or about $37 million, contract to deploy its advanced Walker S2 humanoid robots at border checkpoints in Fengxingang, Guanzi province, along the busy frontier with Vietnam. Starting in December of this year, these adult-sized machines, they're uh, not uh, 5 feet 3 inches tall and weigh about 95 pounds, began assisting with travel guidance, crowd management, logistics, and supportive patrols in a major pilot program. There's talk that they might have facial recognition. They're also being used at airports. So stick with me. I'm going to jump more into um, what's going on there with China. And often we do see it being deployed, different programs here in the United States and in Europe. Hi, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas, and I hope everyone has a very Merry and Prosperous New Year. I want to thank everyone who has supported my work throughout this last year. Thank you very much. You're God's angels. God bless you. The Walker S2 stands roughly 1.76 meters tall, or about 5 foot 3 inches, with a fully articulated body, dexterous hands, and sophisticated AI for navigation and interaction in dynamic environments. What sets Walker S2 apart is its groundbreaking and autonomous battery swapping capability, the first for any humanoid robot. Equipped with dual 48-volt lithium battery system, it can operate for about two hours while walking or four hours when stationary. When power runs low, the robot independently navigates to a charging station, removes the depleted part um, battery from its torso, and installs a fresh one in just three minutes. This enables near-continuous 24-7 operation without human intervention. Currently, this new model is being deployed to the border of Vietnam. They're also putting up thousands of miles of razor wire, uh, electrified fence along the China border to prevent, supposedly, from people leaving the country. Their social um, scoring system has made it where people can't find work, they can't find housing, yeah, they're literally starving on the streets. So unlike the U.S. where we're putting up border security to prevent people from coming in, China is putting up fences to keep people from leaving. This new border development is purely civilian and supportive. Robots help human staff manage queries, direct traffic, answer questions, and handle basic logistics. For right now, they do not perform sensitive tasks like ID verification or armed security. They do have armed security type of robots, though. This pilot program um, is testing AI in high-traffic public settings, buildings, and earlier trials in factories and data centers. Similar Walker series robots have already appeared in other public places. At Hangzhou, Xioshan International Airport, for instance, humanoid model models assist passengers with queries, navigation, and information. Part of China's push to place robots in airports, custom halls, and even international summits. Also earlier this year, there was a viral video reportedly showing a spy robot on the China-India border along the line of actual control. Now that video gained millions of views. The distant stationary figure 
when snowy mountains fueled speculation about military humoids, humanoids. It has not been um, verified. Um, it might be a fixed surveillance post, a decoy, or a misidentified object. Um, there has been no credible reports that confirm the Walker S2 or any other bipedal humanoid deployment there along the border with India. China does have a long history of uh, conflict with India along um, that area. China's People Liberation Army, PLA, is indeed advancing military robotics, but its focus on quad rupee robot dogs has been its major focus, supposedly. But I recently found a video of one of these dogs walking uh, with one of these uh, yeah, humanoid robots. The robot dogs are used for reconnaissance, patrols, and even armed operations in high alt altitudes in areas like Tibet. These agile four-legged machines from companies like Unitree have appeared in drills and exercises highlighting a different path from Umtek's civilian humanoids. Umtek's momentum is undeniable. 2025 orders for the Walker series exceed 1.1 billion yuan with plans for 500 deliveries by year's end and scaling up to 10,000 annually by 2027. 10,000 to be made every year. Backed by the national guidelines aiming for humanoid innovation leadership by 2025 and 2027, these robots signal China's rapid commercial commercialization for embodied AI. As Walker S2 units begin their border duties, they represent more than a technological milestone. They mark the arrival of humanoid ro robots in routine public service. It's all about control, controlling the people. For now, the military applications remain separate and speculative. The civilian role raises fascinating questions about the future, future of work security, and human-robot collaboration. And I'll end this with a video of a speech by Trump about using robots to replace people in factories and other workforces. After you watch it, please put your comment down below. Special things, but the beauty is we're going to have more jobs than we've ever had. Just so you can have robots, but you're going to have to get somebody to start those robots, and you're going to have to improve the robots, but we're going to have robotic uh, factories plus manpower. So we're going to have enough. We're going to need the help of robots and other forms of, uh, I guess you could say, employment. We're going to be employing a lot of artificial things, but the beauty is we're going to have more jobs than we've ever had. Just so you can have robots, but you're going to have to get somebody to start those robots, and you're going to have to improve the robots, but we're going to have robotic uh, factories plus manpower. So we're going to have enough. We're going to need the help of robots and other forms of, uh, I guess you could say, employment. It's getting to be where sci-fi is not so much fiction anymore. Yeah, Skynet. We know that they're um, enabling AI into military here, even in the United States. Reminds me of Skynet. And then think about all the massive data centers that they're building here in the U.S. and also in other countries across the world. I'm going to throw in about the Bible and prophecy about the deadly wound to the one world system. When the AI bubble bursts, will that be the deadly wound that will quickly recover? So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all.